Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So Julio Jones is on his way out of Atlanta. Atlanta, they made it known that they would like to trade Julio Jones. It's not because Julio Jones is trash. It's not because of no drama. It's not because he got into it with the front office or none of that BS. It's simply because the Atlanta Falcons are in a situation right now where they are broke, they down bad, and they need some money. They need some money bad. And Julio Jones just happens to be the guy that they're willing to sacrifice to get on. You feel me? So, you know, when you really think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Because Julio Jones is 32 years old. He's only going to get older, which means eventually he's going to start declining. Julio Jones is also injury prone, which also can speed up him declining. You feel me? And Julio Jones is due to make $15 million this year, $11 million the next two years. He's inked up all the way to 2024. So it's best for them to get Julio Jones gone now than later. Because right now he's still a top five wide receiver, arguably top two to a lot of people. You feel me? So why not get him gone now and get some great value and help the team finish rebuilding? Because Atlanta, they are not in Super Bowl contention. I don't care how biased you are. You got to be realistic. Y'all are not about to compete for a Super Bowl. And I'm saying that nicely, you feel me? So, they can afford to sacrifice Julio Jones. Plus, they still got Calvin Ridley and stuff. They'll be all right for now. So, to get to the point of the video, I got two teams that I feel like really need to go out there and pursue Julio Jones. Not saying they got to get on their hands and knees, but they really can use Julio Jones. And the first team I want to start with is the Colts. The Colts, I feel like they really need to go out there and get Julio Jones for multiple reasons. Number one, they need to keep up in the AFC. There are teams such as the Denver Broncos who got better. My Browns got better. The Dolphins got better. And they were already coming into the playoffs last year. They just didn't make it. And then you got the teams that are already good last year. The Colts need to make sure they are improving as well. Not saying they haven't made any additions, but they need to keep up. They can't go backwards or stay complacent. Looking at their team, they just got Carson Wentz, who is the new quarterback, and he needs all the help possible to bounce back from the worst season of his career. Last year, it was just awful. You feel me? He had a bad O-line. He had bad wide receivers. And it was also him himself that caused him to play bad. It was to the point he got benched for um, Jalen Hurts. And then they traded Carson Wentz so they could put all of their eggs into the basket of Jalen Hurts, who didn't really show that much to be real with you. Feel me? So... That says a lot about the season Carson Wentz had last year. This year, Carson Wentz is definitely in a way better situation to see. And I think he still can be the elite quarterback that he showed he can be years back. You feel me? You know, the Colts, they got a good O-line to help him out. They have a good young running back, Jonathan Taylor, to help him out. They got a good head coach, Frank Rich, who was also the offensive coordinator at the time when the Eagles were good and had Carson Wentz playing at an MVP level before he got injured. And he has a complimentary defense, a great complimentary defense at that. And he even got a good kicker to bail him out at times. But what he does not really have is a star wide receiver. He does not have any solidified wide receiver one. No security blanket. I know you coach fans love T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton is probably a fan favorite over there. But T.Y. Hilton is not the same T.Y. Hilton. He's not as fast. He doesn't get um the same releases, the same route run that he used to in the past. T.Y. Hilton is getting older and he's declining. That's what happens to good players. You feel me? But they also have Michael Pittman, who did have some good moments last year. Definitely showed some potential. But there's no guarantees that he's going to break out. They got Zach Pascal, a good you know, pretty much role player at the wide receiver position for depth. And then Paris Campbell, you know, we just got to host make he we just got to hope that he can stay healthy. You can't even really speak on his skills. So based off the top dudes at receiver on the roster, you know, this this ain't really a wide receiving corps that you really want to have for a quarterback like Carson Wentz, who needs to bounce back. Not saying that he can't get it done because Carson Wentz has done it. With way less. We've seen him do it numerous of times. He just couldn't do it last year. But Julio Jones would not only help out Carson Wentz. He'd help out T.Y. Hilton. Because now T.Y. Hilton can be a wide receiver too. And still be effective. He can help the development of Michael Pittman and Paris Campbell. And he's a jack of all trades. 
Dude is arguably a top three receiver, top five receiver. The dude can go downfield, get busy, get up and get, get contested catches. He's a red zone threat. He's a great route runner. He's physical. He can get yards after the catch. He's big. Come on, this is a this is this is a real receiver. He would really help this team have a better offensive unit than they did in the past. And then the second team that I feel like needs to trade for Julio Jones desperately at that. It's New England Patriots simply because they don't have anything. Do you feel me? Last year was horrible. They didn't have no helps at wide receiver. Nobody can get open. They really banked on the kill here to break out. He couldn't do that. He was awful. He's trash. I got a film analysis up on him. You can check that out. Julian Edelman, he ended up getting hurt last year. He ended up missing the whole season. Now this year, Edelman retired. I don't know if it's because Cam Newton came back or it's because he just genuinely didn't want to play ball no more, but he retired. And when you talk about the only dude that was good last year really was Jacoby Myers, which is not something to brag about because people don't even know who he is. This year, they did nothing to improve the wide receiving corps like they should have. Yeah, they added Nelson Aguilar and Kendrick Bourne, but these ain't no wide receiver ones. Nelson Aguilar just got hands last year. What if he loses his hands again? You get what I'm saying? Like, this ain't really what you want. This ain't going to cut it. Especially when you got Cam Newton, that quarterback, who is only a few games away from the bench. Then you got rookie Mac Jones, who is the pending starter. Rather, people want to admit it or not, he's going to be a starter eventually. They need to make sure they go out there and just get somebody that can be a wide receiver one. Julio Jones would be that guy. The Patriots, it would also put them in general in a better situation because they do have a lot of guys coming back that sat out due to COVID on the defense side of the ball. So the defense should be better than it was last year. Offense, we've seen Bill Belichick work with less. He just had a good quarterback, Tom Brady, but he's got it done with less. So, you know, what if Cam Newton does play well or Mac Jones plays well and Julio Jones is one of the receivers? He's going to help out the receiving course like Nelson Aguilar. He don't got to be the wide receiver one. Kendrick Bourne can get off. You know, this team could really be a contender once again. Not really a Super Bowl contender, but at least a playoff contender once again. If they land somebody like Julio Jones and he stays healthy. We speaking as if Julio Jones stays healthy. You feel me? But these are the two teams I feel like really need Julio Jones a lot. You know, there's other teams that definitely can use Julio Jones. But where do you want Julio Jones to go? How do you feel about Julio Jones going to the Colts or the Patriots? Or how do you even feel about Atlanta losing Julio Jones? Do you think they'll be all right? Because I think they'll be all right eventually. But let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. I got some more content coming soon.